The iPhone 10 is the first iPhone to have a bezel-less display. It goes head-to-head -head with the Galaxy S8, so which one should you buy? Both the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy S8 have a 5.8-inch OLED panel. The Galaxy S8 actually packs more pixels at 2960 by 1440 compared to 2436 by 1125 on the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 has 458 pixels per inch, whereas the Galaxy S8 has 570. Now the Galaxy S8 has a 83.6 screen to body ratio compared to 82.9 on the iPhone, means that notch up top takes a lot of space. Now both of them have something special about them, so the Galaxy S8 has an always on display, whereas the iPhone 10 has 3D touch. Now there's one thing you should know, both of them have an 18 by 9 aspect ratio, meaning when you pinch the content, it shrinks from the top and the bottom. Now the OLED panel on the iPhone 10 for some reason is better than the Samsung Galaxy S8, even though Samsung produces the OLED panel for the iPhone 10, so this is really weird. Now they have top of the line specs, so Snapdragon 835 on the Galaxy S8 and the A11 Bionic on the iPhone 10, which is being praised lately. Now the iPhone 10 has an extra core processor, whereas the Galaxy S8 has an octa core processor. The Galaxy S8 has 4 gigs of RAM and the iPhone has 3 gigs of RAM. The Galaxy S8 has 64 gigs of storage, iPhone has 64 and 256, but you can expand the storage on the Galaxy S8, Y micro SD, which you cannot do on the iPhone. So iPhone, you're lacking behind here. Now talking about the cameras, both of them have 12 megapixel rear sensors, and the images turned out really good. The Galaxy S8 is more saturated, whereas the iPhone has this real-like look that I kind of like, and the iPhone 10 also has dual stabilization on both the lenses, meaning the low light performance will be better than ever. The images are sharper, they're nicer, and if you guys want to see like a full comparison of the cameras of the Galaxy S8 or maybe the Note 8, give a big thumbs up, comment down below, and I'll just make a video for all of you. Now there's portrait mode on the iPhone 10, it's improved, and there's portrait lighting too. I did not test it, so I'll just make it in the full comparison or the full review dropping really soon, but the front-facing cameras are, are good on both, so if you want to see a full test, let me know in the comment section down below. Now the iPhone 10 has Face ID and the Galaxy S8 has iris scanner and face scanning similar to Face ID. The Galaxy S8 also has a fingerprint sensor that the iPhone does not have, even though it's awkwardly placed on the Galaxy S8, the S8 clearly wins here. Now Bixby is actually being praised lately and we all know how Siri works. Both of them have wireless charging and fast charging, so that's pretty cool. The Galaxy S8 has a headphone jack and the iPhone 10 does not have a headphone jack, so there's another throw on the iPhone right here. The Galaxy S8 has a 3000 mAh battery and the iPhone has 2716 mAh battery. The Galaxy S8 is IP68 certified and the iPhone is IP67, so it's water resistant, now waterproof, so don't take it swimming. Now one thing that is common about the design element on both the phones is that they have glass front and back and this aluminum trim along the side, making the phone more durable. The iPhone 10 has the most durable glass ever on any smartphone, that's what Apple says. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to never miss a video again. And let me know in the comment section below if you want to see a comparison with the Note 8, or if you want to see a camera test. Until next time, peace.